going on YouTube? This is the Shadowful here once again. And I am doing a mod review of the color mod. It's a 1.7.10 uh, Minecraft mod that requires Forge. And it's created by Vandy2224. So let's get right into this. So the for the blue, there's a bunch of different blocks. There's the blue, green, purple, red, orange, yellow. Blue, green, and purple all mixed together to create this one. And I actually, I actually put them on the wrong side, but whatever. Um, when you mix them together, you get this block. And when you mix these together, you get that block. So you make these blocks such as this. Same with this. Same with that. And then those mixed together to create those. If you mix the two warm and the cool, you get a rainbow block, such as this. To create the cool block, you do the same thing as you did the other one, but with the cool colors. The purple block is created the same way as all the others. Same with green, and same with blue. So basically, to create the blue tools, for the blue axe, you do it like you would a normal axe, but instead of sticks, you just put two more ingots. For the sword, you put three ingots diagonal. For the blue pickaxe, you do it like a normal pickaxe, but replace the sticks with the blue ingots. For the shell, for the spade, you replace the sticks with more blue ingots, and you get a shovel. For the green tools, you there. Vandy decided to put tool fragments in here. So to upgrade your tool of any kind, you use the tool fragment above it. So basically blue, and then you use the green fragment to get the green sword. And so on, and so on with all these. With the purple tools, you do the exact same thing, but you put the green, so green tools here, or anywhere really, and then put the tool fragment above it. And you get the next tier. With the red tools, you get you do just like you did with the blue, but with red. The orange, you do the exact same thing, except for you put the red and then the orange tool fragment. Same with perp same with yellow. You put the orange tool and then the yellow fragment. If you mix all these together, you get the warm tools. So if you put them in the crafting bench like this, in, uh, it has to be that exact order. Uh, I'm assuming that they're gonna upgrade it, well, like update it later on to where it's shapeless. But right now, you had to put it in that exact order, and you'll get these swords and tools and all that. Same with the cool. You get you have to put it in this exact order: blue, green, purple, and then you get the cool tool, cool tools. If you mix the cool tools and the warm tools together you get the rainbow tools the rainbow sword is pretty cool because if you right click it's it shoots lightning so basically wherever you're looking you can catch things on fire it's pretty awesome with the ra the rainbow pickaxe if you right click you place a torch and the that's I think that's pretty cool and it's also it doesn't you don't have to have torches to right click and it'll, it'll automatically spawn a torch so with the spade I think really all it does is that it just goes really fast I think that's really the only one without any special abilities. The rainbow axe, that cuts down trees like the lumber mod, only you don't need the lumber mod to do it. Well. Huh. I guess that's not, I guess it's not really work. maybe it doesn't work on those kinds of trees. Let me test this about that, it took me a little while to find it. So if you place the sapling and then the bone meal, if you bone meal it, uh, let me get some more bone meal. 
if you bone meal it, and then when you break it with the axe, it cuts down all the wood. Unfortunately, it doesn't cut down all the leaves, but at least it cuts down all the wood. And that's the rainbow tools and all the other tools. The, it's pretty difficult to get to the rainbow, but it's worth it once you get there. Now on to the armor. Well, actually, it, you smelt the ore, each ore, just like you normally would. So, just like normal iron and all that. So, it's just the same. So, for the first tier of boots, which are the red and the blue. So, the red are exactly like iron. Same with the leggings. Same with the chest plate. Same with the helmet. As well as the blue are the exact same form. Now for the second tier which is orange and green. Orange you put the orange ingots like normal but then you put the red boots up top or bottom. I don't think it matters. So then that you'll, that that will get you the orange boots. With the orange leggings you do, you do like normal and then you put the red leggings in the middle. With the chest plate you fill the last spot with the red chest plate. For the orange helmet, you do like a normal helmet, but then you put the red helmet in in the middle. With the green, you do exactly as you did with the red, I mean the orange stuff. The green ingots like this, and then the blue boots in the middle. Same with the leggings, surrounding like normal, and then blue in the middle. Fill the last spot with the blue chest plate for the green. And then for the green helmet, the exact same thing. You put the green helmet, the blue helmet in the middle. For the yellow boots, exact same thing as before. Just replace the right, just make sure you do the right colors orange to yellow. And then for purple, green to purple. Same recipes. Now for the cool armor, you put the three items together so blue green purple if you put them in this uh, right next to each other in the crafting bench you will get the cool chest plate so just like all just like this for all these you just put the blue green purple right in order and they have to be the same type and then you'll get that armor Make a day and then same with the warm armor you do the red orange yellow in order with the same uh, pieces and you will get the helmets and all that so when you put the warm and cool helmet well the entire armor sets on you get water breathe for the for the cool you get water breathing for the warm you get fire resistance and then to get rainbow armor you mix the warm and cool just like this just like normal but you just put them right next to each other and you will get the next armor set this gets a gives you a bunch of bonus you get speed 2 haste 2 strength 2 regeneration 2 fire resistance 2 and water water breathing 2 it used to be able to make you fly but they felt the mod creator told me that he felt like that was a little bit overpowered so he created an item that allows you to fly and I'll show you that later on so that's all the armors now on to the cryptic stuff which is the dimension that they have here's the cryptic dirt that uh, you will see when I show you the dimension later on here's the cryptic grass and here's the cryptic stone now in the in the cryptic they have something that's kind of like coal it's called ebonite it, when you smelt it in a, f a normal furnace you get ebonite now ebonite is used for the cryptic infuser basically you put a log the crypt from the cryptic trees right there you put the cryptic log here or here and then you put the tr the leaves that you get when they drop here or here depending on whichever place you want to put it now you put the ebonite here 
it takes about two stacks and eight to fill this entire thing. Now, it's a little bit glitched, but at the top, when it's full, it doesn't look like it's completely full. But just know two stacks plus eight will give you a full infuser. Now, they will eventually smelt together and give you the cryptic shards. And so, to create the infuser, you do rainbow blocks such like this then you put a cryptic sapling in the middle and a furnace on top now for all those items back there you need the cryptic crafter the cryptic crafter is just like the infuser with the rainbow blocks like this sapling in the middle but then you put the crafting table on top so going on to the blue blue green purple now for this, for the slabs right here, oh, oops, well, you know, but the slabs, you create them like this, in the cryptic crafter, the cryptic crafter looks like this. Now, if you fill in the entire bottom, just these two layers, you get the slabs, such, such like this, same with green, same with, pur same with purple. And actually, I need to show you the other stuff first. The pieces that you use, these pe these pieces right here, you create them in the um, crafter. Now, with the cryptic shards that you get from the infuser, you put them all together to create bars. You use bars to get blank pieces in this exact formation inside of the cryptic crafter it'll give you I believe 64 blank pieces to get the other colors such as green blue and purple you put the blank piece in the middle pretty much anywhere and then you surround it such like this with the color of ingot that you want so green will get you green blue will get you blue purple will get you purple to get the cool pieces cool and warm you use the cool blocks and the warm blocks same here. Orange gets you orange. Blue, I mean red, red. Yellow, yellow. Warm blocks get you warm pieces. Rainbow pieces are just a blank piece and rainbow blocks surround you. To get the cryptic artifact, which actually allows you to fly, is in this exact formation. It's pretty much the same as the making a blank piece, but then you fill it all in. And just to show you, so just this in my hand, normally you wouldn't be able to fly. It allows you to fly, and I don't believe you take fall damage. No. So, that's pretty cool. I find that pretty cool. And it's awesome. It's an awesome texture, I see. So, now that you know how to make all the pieces, I will go through how to make the slabs, the uh, stairs, the blocks, and the doors. Which, the doors are pretty awesome. They look pretty cool. So you saw all these, same with red, you put them at the bottom, and then you get a slab. Same with the yellow, same with orange. And then for the warm, you do warm pieces such like this. Rainbow, you do it the exact same way, but with rainbow pieces. And cool pieces are the exact, cool slabs are the exact same. Now for the stairs, you do five up and five to the side so pretty much you're taking up the entire left side and the bottom side and then you just fill it in like you would a normal stair and then you get the cool stairs and same with all these you do it, you just have to use the right color of pieces and it'll give you if you do it in the exact same formation you'll get the color that you used so green purple red yellow orange, warm, and rainbow. Now for the blocks, the hardwood, you do it in a 3x3, three three, just like, well, not just like, never mind, but you do a 3x3 three three and you just fill it all in with the correct color of pieces that you want, and you will get the hardwood for it. So, rainbow, warm, yellow, orange, red, purple, green, 
blue and cool now for the doors you do just like you would a slab only put it to this on the side up and down that will get you the doors just use the correct color of pieces that you would like just like in all the others so blue green purple red yellow and orange warm and rainbow now that you know all the recipes now to figure out how to get into the uh, cryptic so basically you cannot use a flint and steel and I'll show that so you cannot use a flint and steel as you can see let me go into creative you ha they made a custom basically flint and steel it's called the shiner which is created like this four blaze rods three redstone one diamond and one flint and steel and this is this is the only way that you can get to the cryptic and it's pretty cool because they have a custom fire too so it, I think it just goes between yellow and light blue but it's has a little bit of red in there so basically that's the cryptic portal now I'll show you the cryptic I did not pre-make this so alright so this is a pretty cool one looks pretty awesome looks like cows and sheep all spawn like normal water there's some stone some dirt looks like some ebonite so good thing that everything actually spawns and in the overworld everything spawns as well what the heck I cannot fly there we go alright so basically the cryptic trees are spawned like normal and then you use them in the infuser to get the pieces now let me go back here let me see what all this is alright I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. And please like, subscribe, favorite this video. And I will see you next time.